is up everybody, this is Dr. Mongoose bringing you your recommended dosage of all things MLG Halo and gameplay wise, and today I have for you a game of CTF on Abandon. Uh, the gameplay is quite honestly uh, one of the better games I've pulled uh, thus far when it comes to uh, Halo 4. I go uh, like 36, 22, and like 15 or something, but uh, the gameplay is not what I'm going to be talking about today. What I'm going to be talking about today is some uh, frequently asked questions and confusions and more so just trying to clear up some of the um, some of the lingering doubts and questions surrounding uh, Halo 4's ranking system uh, since I posted the video after uh, during uh, MLG Dallas. That was just a quick video and I was throwing it out there because I needed uh, just to let everyone know and uh, not all the information was out so there's been some confusion I've seen angry comments and I've seen people you know saying things that you know aren't necessarily true but they wouldn't know that but they don't know what's going on because you know there uh, wasn't a kind of universal uh, there wasn't kind of a universal lay down of what was happening in the vid uh, it, with this ranking system so uh, what I'm here to do is I'm here to uh, just kind of just kind of go over again the ranking system but more so to clear up any uh, confusion and doubts when it comes to uh, what Halo 4's ranking system is going to be. So starting with a brief brief overview, it's basically a competitive skill rank or it's called uh, the CSR. It's going to launch early next year, um, probably with the first big title update which includes the first set of DLC so probably it's coming in December. Um, it could be before that, it could be after that. Um, the uh, the 343 guys are saying they're not going to do anything until it is uh, it's ready. Um, basically, how it works is it is um, it's taking your uh, performance against other players in war games and using information to match you up against opponents of comparable skills. Um, what that means is that uh, basically, since day one, uh, Halo 4 has been gathering you know all this a bunch of information about. Uh, your skill level based on all the games you've been playing and it's going to match you up uh, with people of the same skill rank and it's going to give you a it's going to assign you a um, visible detailed rank viewable in your profile on waypoint now before people get up in arms about non viewable ranks and all that stuff I'll touch on that a little later what this means is basically waypoint is current is um the game is currently collecting all of this detail all of this information about the uh, about uh, what your skill is, and it's uh, then going to implement that into a ranking system when they have uh, finished, you know, working out. When once they've finished uh, designing it and working out the uh, the kinks in the system. Now, as far as the viewable on Waypoint is, and I've seen a couple, several angry comments um, about uh, this on my video and other videos. Um, to clear things up, the rank is not invisible. It's not an invis it's not an invisible skill rank. It's not a um it's not a it's not, you know, it's not like Halo Reach where you know you didn't see anything. It's not an invisible skill rank. It's not a uh, skill rank where you aren't going to see um where you're not going to be able to ever see it. It is viewable on way it's viewable on uh, Halo Waypoint, which um you know, for some people, you know, that's kind of annoying. That can be a hassle, a quote unquote hassle to get to. Um, you can literally get to Waypoint from Halo 4 in two clicks on the menu. You don't have to dashboard, you don't have to do anything, and then you can immediately go back to Halo 4. Um, if you want to pull it up on your computer, that works as well. Um, but also coming from Frank O'Connor um, on a post on NeoGAF a couple days after this went down is that it is starting as, it's starting as, um, in, it's starting as not invisible, it's starting as viewable not in-game because they don't want something that happened in Halo 3 all the time, which which uh, was boosting of accounts, um, like power leveling of accounts, selling of accounts, that whole thing, because people didn't care about having that skill next to them. They just want, people didn't care about actually having the skill or getting to it. They just wanted the number. And that just said, you know, oh, I'm this good, which personally, yeah, I do feel that was uh, pretty annoying when it came to Halo 3. And I agree that, you know, something better had to come about. Um, my own personal opinions on selling accounts, I don't really, I'm gonna withhold that, but boosting and, boosting and leveling, and, uh, deranking, that is really annoying, and I do think that this does help that in, uh, in, in at least some way. Um, but he said down the road that once it's been implemented and they can, you know, see how it's working, they do have the ability, and they, um, from what, it, from what he was talking about, they probably have the plan in which they're going to implement an in-game rank. 
So it's 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 not viewable in game for now. More than likely, they will make it viewable in game uh, down the road once they have uh, the playlists uh, fully implemented and once they have you know everything you know fully squared away on how this is going to on how this is going to work. Um, another question I'm frequently uh, I'm frequently uh, asked is uh, that you know. Another question I'm frequently asked is that you know, oh, this isn't this. They're just you know taking Halo Reach's ranking system. Um, they're you know they're breaking it. Why they can't they just do this like Halo Three? Blah 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 blah. And everyone's getting angry about it. Well, the thing is that they're not. This isn't like they're taking Halo Reach's ranking system and just recycling that and putting a number next to it. From uh from what they uh from what they're saying, um, the ranking system is working. The ranking system is working. Basically, at the same way as uh, Halo's 1 to 50. Well, okay, at the moment, at, at the moment, and this is coming from the Waypoint article, it says, How will it rank me? All players will be ranked on a per hopper basis. So, for example, you will have a unique CSR for your Slayer programs versus your CTF games. CSR is currently planned to use a familiar, easy to understand 1 to 50 sale. This is subject to change or alteration. But your CSR will go up or down based on your match outcomes. So basically, what they're saying is that there is a one to fifty system that's probably going to be in place, at least at the moment of at, at the moment. All information that is available on the CSR and um, Halo Four skill rank is that it's coming out with. Um, it's going to be the it's going to be the Halo Three one to fifty system. Um, very easy to understand. Very simple um, and. It's going to be maintaining that similar level of how they judged your uh, rank going up and down, possibly with a few tweaks based on you know this is a new game, different gameplay, fun different you know gameplay mechanics, all that sort of stuff. So for everyone getting angry, it's like oh they ruined it. Why can't they just go back to Halo Three? Blah blah blah. Okay, let's get one thing straight. Halo Three had a shitload of ranking problems. Uh, by the time you got to Halo, by the time you were getting to like 45. 48, 49, to get into 50, you had to win 24 games in a row without losing, and if you lost one, you would go down a rank. Halo 3's ranking system was not perfect. What was really good about Halo 3's ranking system is that it matched you up with people of even skill, and that is what is far more important than a number next to your name. So, they have not ruined the ranking system. They are literally giving people what they were screaming about from day one, in the fact that they said, why can't you just, you know, make it 1 to 50? It is basically going to be 1 to 50, um, you know, subject to change, but I don't understand. I don't see them changing it too drastically in, you know, the next couple months uh, in, during their design process. But something tells me that they're going to have, you know, it's going to be a 1 to 50 system. It's going to be very easy to understand. Uh, nothing that you guys need to worry about. And it's uh, just going, and it's going to work in the same. In the, in the, it's going to work in the same way as Halo 3's did, possibly with tweaks. So please stop screaming at me about how they've ruined Halo 3, because Halo 3, Halo 3's ranking system is not this amazing, godly pedestal-like thing we all, everyone puts it all, puts it up to. You know, it was, it worked. It was pretty good. For, it was pretty good. Halo 2's was a lot better. Um, the final thing uh, that has been asked to me is that is uh, when they initially described it is it was they said like oh it's an it's an overall ranking of your entire uh, matchmaking performance and um, so is it going to be like okay if I don't if I only have you know a one in Griff Ball but a fifty in Infinity Slayer Team Slayer and CTF will that average out to you know like a twenty five. No, uh, and this kind of plays into how they're going to be doing the ranking systems from the uh, from the start, um, and that is that we are going to, that uh, basically every playlist is collecting information about the um, about ranks thus far. Wow, I choke on those two snipes, two snipes pretty hard. Um, it's collecting information on each rank thus far, so that means you know every game of CTF you play, every game of of. Slayer that you play. They're collecting your information now. Um, granted, when that first playlist update, uh, that first uh, title update drops, they might be, you know, they might be consolidating a couple, a couple playlists. Like, um, Objective might get consolidated into one playlist, so instead of having King of the Hill CTF Oddball, it'll just be one big Objective playlist. And so, um, that means anything you've gotten there will be reset, um, will be reset day one. Man, I really choked with a sniper rifle in this game. Um, so, say for example, since they're probably going to keep Slayer Pro, your Slayer Pro rank will remain, and that's an individual playlist-based rank. So you'll, you know, have like a 35 in Slayer Pro. But say you had like a 40 in CTF, a 33 in Oddball, and a, you know, 
42 in King of the Hill. Those will probably all reset if they consolidate the playlist. If those playlists remain um, individually based, then obviously that rank will stay and you don't have to worry about consol uh, about um, having it reset. So basically, it all depends on how, they're, how they may or may not consolidate um, uh, their their playlists uh, after this first title update, how the DLC gets how the DLC gets implemented, that whole thing. So um, it really does depend on uh, what's going to be happening with this uh, first title update. But it th from what from what I understand, that's uh, where this is that's when this is dropping. It's dropping with the DLC. It's dropping with the first like really big playlist update. Um, obviously, they're doing weekly updates and they're having a rotational um, playlist come in like uh, this week. Uh, or on Monday of this on Monday of this week, um, they're bringing in their first of uh, two their first uh, set of rotational playlists. Uh, Swat will be coming back, and uh, one more um, and another uh, and another playlist will be coming back. They haven't announced the second one. So basically, um, every so, and I guess a little aside on this video. So basically, every week they're going to have two playlists rotate into their current um, into their current standing of playlists uh, at the moment. Uh, SWAT is coming this week along with another one. Next week it might be something different. But hopefully, guys, that answers all your questions when it comes to uh, this Halo CTF, con this Halo um, CSR uh, rank confusion. Um, if you guys do have any questions, please leave them in the comments of the video so I can be able to help you out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me some feedback on how you think I did. Um, if you enjoyed the game, if you enjoyed the game, you know, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see more gameplays of this uh, sort, uh, Feel free to leave me a message, leave me a comment, and uh, I can throw more stuff out to you like this. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Dr. Mongoose, and please watch two of my videos and call me in the morning.